Okay guys, we are back and I have finally found the Bag of Bones. I don't know what the problem was that I couldn't find him on the website before, but I have found him. Now he is listed under the new Halloween animatronics for 2022 on the Spirit Halloween website. So let's go ahead over here and open this one up. There he is, the three foot Bag of Bones animatronic. I don't know what to expect from him, but just looking at the picture, I would be willing to bet that he's in the bag and then he jumps up out of the bag to scare you, which I'm going to love because I love the jump scare props. Um, I totally expect he's going to be like laughing maniacally or something, but um, let's go ahead and read the uh, description here. The folks who live near Spirit Acres Farm don't say much about the noises coming from the old barn. Instead, they keep their heads down kick the dirt, clench their teeth, and say things like, they're quiet folk up at that farm. <laughs> what? The, or they look after their own. Maybe that's because they'd rather not wind up like some of their neighbors in a burlap bag by the old abandoned grist mill. Okay, so basically it's the neighbors in the bag. Anyways, let's look at the pictures here. So there is the picture of the three-foot bag of bones animatronic. What's that say? Jack's Spirit Acres Farm, reaping the land since 1983. <laughs> Looks like a uh, like a potato sack or something. All right, there's one that's kind of from the side. I'm just I wonder. It's probably not like a full size skeleton in there. It probably goes down the torso and like stops without legs. Um, which would make sense if he's only going to be hopping out and you're going to see his head. But I, I do like this. I was right where he's going down into the bag. You can see his hands here that are holding on and just the top of his head sticking out a little bit. Um, there's a picture of him popping out. And there's a green light in there, it looks like. There's a side view. Another side view. Anything else? The back. And the comparison picture. Look how small he looks compared to the six foot guy. All right, let's jump up here because I want to watch this video and see what this guy does. I like how in the background already you can see other bags of bones just sitting around. How hilarious is that? All right, here we go. Yep. Exactly what I thought it was going to be. And I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so simple, but it's so awesome. Let's go back here and watch it one more time. <laughs> he comes up out of there fast, too, man. That's the bet. I just, I might have to buy that one this year. I don't know if I've told you guys yet or not, but I bought a house. So I am probably going to be doing trick-or-treating from the house here. Um, although I'm not sure. I get pretty busy when I'm out on the road chasing down all the spirits, and I want to get to as many states as I can this year. Which, by the way, make sure you tell me what state you're in and where your store is at, and I just might show up there. But this would be an absolutely awesome prop to have in your front yard hunt for when trick-or-treaters come walking up, and then Mr. Bones just jumps out that fast and scares the living crap out of them. Alright, guys, anyway... So that's a quick look at the three-foot Bag of Bones animatronic. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I hope I get to see it in the store on the 30th. And if you guys come to the store for the grand opening on the 30th, Egg Harbor Township in New Jersey, Spirit Halloween, I'm going to be there, and you just might get to meet me. I'll see you later. Peace. I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God.